I do whatever I can to watch cartoons. I just love cartoons. So anyways, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I finish this. Alright, we're gonna go see our friend. Got an appointment at 11.30, but I'm having technical difficulties, but I think this will fix it, so. All right, so I just put some zip locks right here, just for temporarily. That should get us by though. If it breaks, then uh, it breaks. <laughs> oh well. This is like my favorite part of uh, this neighborhood. Take this little route outside of Pyramid or McCarran. It's pretty cool. Francisco, uh, share us a little bit about yourself, Francisco. How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm just a typical guy. I'm actually age 27, and I'm just uh, doing projects here and there, entrepreneurship and helping out businesses just grow and develop themselves, and hopefully they reach out to you guys and everybody else in Reno Sparks and hopefully outside the country. The whole, My whole purpose and goal is to help them out, get noticed, you know, get noticed, because a lot of talent out there that's not noticed. That's pretty much what I do, and I'm working on some projects, and hopefully I get to share them with with Glenn's uh, vlog and all he, what he's doing. He's doing an amazing job and get a chance to show all of you guys what we do. Tell him about the factory website. Because I was showing Tanya. So I showed her like, yeah, this dog is actually on the website because it sells. <laughs> he's the number one seller. And this is cool. I like this. That's badass. <laughs> That's dark. But I like uh, this. When I, when I meet the staff, because it shows who you are and it, it actually makes me want to laugh at, laugh at the design and everything that comes in it, but it also makes me want to actually go in there and mm, like see the crew. I like it. Cool. See? Nice. Seller. Seller. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be surprised that he actually wore those goggles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. I think we're actually we gotta go pick up some paint. Uh, I gotta do a paint job tomorrow. Yeah, that's it, man. So we are going back home, but first we gotta pick up some paint, and then we'll go from there. I think it's great doing business like this. is pretty fun. It's what makes it more adventurous. Before we grab some paint, let's uh, help Josh get this uh, table moving. Dude, you didn't realize this was content. What do you got here? <laughs> oh, you just add cream. So I would recommend getting it cold first because if you put it on ice, it's gonna dilute the, the sparkles, the carbonation. Oh, is that right? So yeah, get it cold, throw it on ice, add sweetener. And then after you add the sweetener, add a touch of cream. Italian cream soda, Italian. Yeah, Sick. man, this is it. So it. try it out, try right. it out, bro. Right. And this was so funny. She gave me biodegradable cups. That's kind of cool. Look at what they look what they print on it. It's a world. That's no, cool. they put specifically do not recycle these. You can't recycle it. Really? No. Grenadine. Oh, it is so good. Maybe someone would be like, "Why are you testing all these drinks and blah blah blah?" Bro, innovation is so rare. It's worth millions. So if you can give people an experience that other people can't innovate it doesn't matter there's so much opportunity people like to experience new stuff why do you think people are watching your 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 stuff like oh my gosh what's gonna happen next because it's like they want they're gonna experience something different right you'll get a Very lot of lines, people yeah. being like what all right try it first here with coke just try it yeah it's just normal coke all right you gotta stir it up a little bit isn't that nice that's really good it's really smooth yours man thank you so much 
You're not gonna stay any longer, man? No, tempting. You're missing out on the best part, man, of tempting. work today. All right, Josh, I'm out. See you, thanks for the help. Going to the marina real quick. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Oh, hey, so cool. You like it? Yeah, I do like it. What land, is this? Land paddling. What? You've never seen it? No. Oh, just go on Kahuna Creations. Super cool. Yeah. Wow. Do you board at all? No, I just never seen this. Oh. oh I'm just so curious. I like... Yeah, it's a, a stick, so it makes it, you know, funner. You get the whole body workout. Okay. And then you get to speed up or stop. You know, you can kind of slow down with this. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a workout. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah, so what are you doing? If I just quit my job. Really? I just quit my job to pursue my dreams. No way. Yeah, I just started uh, Friday, last Friday I quit my job. Really? Yeah, I just went flat out. No like, yeah, way. That's You're like a pretty ballsy, but that's great, man, that's because if you feel it, go for exactly. it. Exactly. Don't even wait, bro. Exactly. It's like you, you're living. Other people aren't living. Exactly. They're just like, they're dead, but they're walking. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. They're not living. They uh -huh. can be, they can complain, but they're not doing anything about it. That's right. So yeah, you're, you're actually life. And I, I haven't felt more alive than... No! I, I'm like, I knew this was the right thing to do. <gasps> Nobody needs to tell you. Exactly. You're your everything. You're your own doctor. You're your own everything. <laughs> so you're, whatever that feeling is, it's the right feeling. And, and... Check this out. It didn't even make sense when I made the decision. That's even better. Right? Logically, financially. Well, I'm like, I'm I know! <laughs> I, did, I did that at 27, I think. I just like, fuck, two weeks notice, I'm out. I'm homeless, but I'm out! <laughs> Dude, and I think back now because I'm like 20 years later, I'm almost 50, dude. Oh, no wait. Yeah. You feel so young. I know. That's so awesome. I, I I look back and I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? I had no money. I, I'm like, what the? F but it got me here and I feel better than a million, trillion, billion dollars. Oh my and that's all that matters. If you give me five million right now for what I know and what I feel, I'm not giving it to you. You can give me $5 million cash to say, give me your, the feeling you have or take this money. I will keep what I have and you can keep the money. I'll sleep in the gutter. Everybody's has an expiration day. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to be 90 or it doesn't have to mean anything. You, you got a milk carton has an expiration date. Your body, when you came in here, you have an expiration date. You just don't know when it is. Yeah. So you live until you have to, you're gonna die happy, healthy, and you're not ever gonna die because there's no such thing as death. You're just gonna continue on to another spot, whatever that is. It doesn't matter because you're happy. Hey, I'm alive, I'm alive, and that's it. And everything else comes. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to do shit. Yeah. You just have to feel real, feel alive, and that's, that's your only obligation in life, is to be you. Your, your primary job is not to be a CEO, is to be you. This is my friend Glenn. He just, he just met me from boarding over here. Or he, he has a fascinating story, you know? He just, this is his new gig and he quit his job to, to, to <laughs> no, do I'll what do he wants to do, Mark. Wow. He's living life, isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do it while you can. Exactly. Can you believe how young, he, you know, how, how wise he is for even getting to that point? Yeah. Wow. You know, people don't have that guts, you know, to be to be re them and be real and... <laughs> yeah, good for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. You said Mark, right? Yeah. Yeah, from yeah dude. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, as well. Cool, that was really cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. This is so cool, man. Just meeting all these people spontaneously. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, back home. What's up, Smash Bros? What? What's up, Doc? What's that, dude? We out here. What? I'm getting in.
<laughs> I'm charging up, guys. Oh, oh, oh man, no. you better get him, George. Oh, 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 Hey, hey, here we go. Yeah, this was crazy. Oh. Eh, está chingón eso. Yeah, eso sí. lo acoplas a la hey, cuida ahí. Hey, yeah. Gracias, mijo, eh. Tranquilo. Sí, claro. A la próxima te quedas en la cena. Sí. Anyways, we're out. See, this is the one thing that I, I've never liked in my whole entire life. Traffic. That's the one thing I've never liked. I just can't wait. That's why I always rode my bike all the time. I avoid all this. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. Plus I get to skip traffic. Yeah, I don't go as fast as a car, but at least I'm having, at least I'm having a lot more fun and enjoying the wind and enjoying the ride. So. How's it going? I love Israel. Nice. I good, love good. Israel. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, I love Israel. That's good. I've been. I'm sending this message. Yeah. You see this flag here? Okay. First of all. Yeah, of course. The flag is special to me. Okay. I used this one on 70th anniversary of Israel. Uh huh. Right there on Atlantis. I'm the one that's waving this flag alone. Is that right? Yes. Together with the Jewish people. I'm active in Temple Emmanuel. Okay. My religion is Judaism. Uh -huh. But however, I believe in Messiah. What was that again? I believe in Messiah, Jesus Christ. Same here. Nice. Same here. If you notice this flag and this it says we need God in America again. Yeah. We're losing God here. You know what, what do we have now? That's right. Different kind of gods. That's right. That's why I have specifically put this one here. The Star of David and this one here. Who's God? God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of Israel. That's my message here. And then Donald John Trump will, will remain. He's done so much to Israel and to America and for, for the benefits of this world too. But his many, uh, many people, they hate him. I don't know why. Even in, my, in our synagogue, I hate to say this one, I spoke with one Jewish woman here and she agreed with me. They don't like Trump. What's going on? I told them. Some they do, some they don't. Many they, I'll say 50-50, we have different opinions. Of course. So, um, I believe that Donald John Trump has been anointed by God. He's a God's trumpet in this last era. We are definitely in the last era right now. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. If you define what's the era, it could be 10 to 50 years from now. But I believe I see. The, I will see those days. I'm not. Um, I'm not uh, into uh, how do you call that doomsdayers thing. But obviously, if you have the spirit of God, if you go to church or synagogue. You'll see what's going on, you right. know? Oh my gosh, like, unbelievable. Those Ten Commandments. To remind us that we don't have Ten Commandments right now. That's right. It's been removed from the school, you know, the Grand Canyon and so and so. The only one that I see is in uh, Fallon, Nevada. Oh, Nevada? Yeah, in the city hall, so beautiful. Oh. You shall have no other gods before me. Love the Lord your God, your all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And this is love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. And you shall not steal, you shall not uh, commit adultery, you shall not covet, you know, and so and so. We don't have that anymore. Yeah. Like ma mainly in Christian churches, in front of the Christian churches. And I'm just giving them a message just to, to wake them up that, hey, let's not, you know, let's not sleep. Yeah. And um, I'm looking, I was here last Sunday. I saw you. You've seen me? Yeah, I've right. seen you, yeah. And then, but this Sunday, this Sunday I'm gonna be on uh, in front of the Living Stone Church right on Sierra. 
Okay. Sierra, downtown Sierra yeah. and uh, Liberty. Okay. I always go there. And my plan is if they acquitted Donald Trump, I'm gonna go I'm gonna do my happy dancing. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna play a music a loud music and then I will dance the Ibidic dance. Inimatob. You know Inimatob? Inimatob no, Umanayim. Shebera Kim Gamiya. Thank you. Alright, oh I'll be here until dark. Awesome. Remember. All right, man. Pleasure. Man, just meeting great people, man. Let's get to work. I gotta finish the edit. Yeah, let's get to work. Okay, we're calling it a night. And, oh man, it is work, I'll tell you that. Uh, doing everything, and uh, but it's fun, man. It is re very, very rewarding and really fun. And again, if you like it, uh, what is the other one? Like, oh yeah, if you like, subscribe. And I'll keep doing, I'll keep producing more content too. So, cool.